All right, so I am making this video for anyone who uses the GrowWatt inverters. Mine specifically is the 24 volt. As you can see right here, this is the American model. And when it comes down to using a generator, which is allowed on these inverters, it can be a bit of a pain because you will get this little flashy light right here for the power pole, which is for your line power to come in or shore power, whatever you want to call it. And the problem that you will have is that it blinks like this and that shows it is not connecting. And we've had this issue for quite some time and been getting absolutely zero help from the GrowWatt tech support, if you will. And it, I mean, it's just been a back and forth trying to figure stuff out and they're always wanting pictures or videos and stuff and they don't ever explain what they're looking for. So it's really hard to work with them. So I went and have been trying different things and finally figured out what the deal was. So just to make this quick here, typical power in the United States runs at 60 Hertz. Now you can see this is jumping around between, you know, 64 up to 68, 69, whatever. Well, I figured out that the problem here is that when you power up your generator and it's adequately sized, I don't have to worry about anything like that. I have a 9,000 watt generator out here. It says that it's supposed to be bigger than that in, a, in the manual, but it's really to do with power loads and stuff and making sure that you just have enough power. But either way, the problem here is, is that when you fire your generator up, they're kind of geared to have that surge with them from what I've been seeing. So your Hertz is running a little bit higher and it won't actually engage because it's not synchronized. Now don't take all this stuff to heart from me and and you know you know call an electrician if you're if you're not sure of anything because I am not a licensed electrician and you're doing everything on your own you know free will here but I figured out that if I can get the Hertz to actually line up and synchronize I can get this to go away because we get stuck in situations where we have to charge our batteries because the Sun just isn't working right now or something to that effect and you can see my solar is connected so I'm doing this as a demonstration because I know there's other people out there that have had this issue so in order to get this to line up it's going to get loud because I'm gonna have to go out to the generator and show you exactly what I've done now as I stated your generator is it's running at a little bit of an overspeed and it's causing the Hertz to actually crank up so what I've figured out is if you go ahead and and try to drag the generator down directly at the generator because I'm plugged in for my line source power right now which is not connected and that just kicked back to my main screen so let me switch this for you so you can see it so I'm at 120 <coughs> excuse me and sorry for all the beeps because I have to go through this and you can see all my different settings so we get back to the Hertz. That's all I'm pulling in for PV right now because it's very, very cloudy outside. Not that we even need to be doing this, but again, demonstration. So there's our Hertz and it's running a little bit high. So if you go to your generator directly and plug in to the other outlets or outlet with some kind of heavy duty device, what I have found that works is a hair dryer but anything that's going to draw a massive amount of power is going to work so we're going to walk out to the generator right now and i'm going to plug it in and i'm going to turn it on it is going to be loud but then we're going to return back in here and we're going to see what happens so bear with me and ignore my mess and everything because this is all a work in progress see all my junk out here <laughs>
we're gonna go ahead and plug in the hair dryer down here. Plug in, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn it on and set it on the freezer outside, just so you can see. You can hear that it's going and running, and I'm gonna kick it up on the high. Here it drags the generator down. Now we're gonna let it sit there. We're gonna go back inside. Woo, tripping over my junk. All right, now we come back in here, ignore my wiring mess. Now we see that we have plugged in our hair dryer and we have got this thing to stop flashing. The Hertz have in fact dropped. Bang, we have connected. Now we're gonna wait for it to start dumping into the batteries. It'll bring one more line over here and you'll see it. Give it just a second. And I'm telling you, when I figured this out, all you have to do is synchronize the power or synchronize your Hertz with your generator on overspeed to the settings in the inverter and get it to line up and bingo bango ready to go go there you go right there we are hooked up ready to go the power is coming in so now i can go back outside and i'll show you i will unplug the actual air dryer which is still running still running still on so we'll go ahead and we'll turn that off hear the power release We'll go ahead and we'll unplug it completely out of there and we'll go ahead and go back in and we'll take a look. Sorry about the messy cabin. And you can see that we are still connected. The Hertz did come back up again, but it's supposed to be plus or minus five, I think, that it allows. And there you go. You have your power coming in, power charging to your batteries, however you need. And my solar, you can see it's it's not enough quite to connect. And we're gonna go ahead and put a little juice on these batteries and uh, you know get them going. And then obviously you saw I have another one right there because while we needed two of these in order to get 240 volt running in the house, we bought it because this one started doing that issue to begin with and we could get no tech support. So we thought we had a junk inverter so we just jumped and went and got our next one and planned to have it repaired so that way we could get everything up on 240 but that's a whole another story right there so we got this one kind of setting idle until we hook it up for 240 and we figured out the issue so we didn't lose in the long game but this is a frustrating situation for people that don't know what's going on and cannot get help with tech support from grow what because they don't necessarily have anything in the US and you're dealing with someone overseas. But these are good pieces of equipment, definitely good pieces of equipment, if you're willing to put in the time and understand everything and just kind of, you know, you have to learn to become an at-home electrician on your own when you're dealing with stuff like this because we have zero source of power from the outside grid in order to plug in here and top us up when needed so we will have to run a generator from time to time not all the time but either way i hope this helps someone out there because i know i am not the only person that is suffering with this issue and man can it be a pain in the butt at all the wrong times but either way hope it helped and have a great day thanks for watching